Okay, so this is gastralization in a frog embryo. Um, and these, of course, are deuterostomes. And so you might remember from earlier on in, in this uh, subject of animals um, that we talked about gastralization. That is the in-pushing of the first, in the first ball of cells uh, forming the anus instead of the mouth like um, in protostomes. That's, that's typical of deuterostomes. Um, and you can also see that the, the start of the development of the different uh, outside layer, which is the ectoderm, the endoderm, and the mesoderm. And of course, uh, later on in, in humans, of course, we have more kind of tissue layers um, that are not really called endo, ecto, and meso. Um, they're kind of derived together and forming uh, different parts of the body. Uh, so it gets a little bit complicated how you know what becomes what there is a table in your book that shows you what becomes what but you um, you're not required to memorize that just kind of take a look at it though and see 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 what you can see out of that um, and then the last part is organogenesis and again this is a very complicated subject and a, and a bit different for different types of organs I, I'm different kinds of organisms is what I meant to say and um, organogenesis, of course, is just the development of the organs um, first off. And this is happening during the first trimester. So all of this is happening pretty quick uh, to, the, to the zygote after it meets up with the sperm. And as is, you know, all during the first trimester. Organogenesis, though, continues on through the second trimester. Pretty much complete by then, the organs... Um, are pretty much uh, forms and could function on their on their own, so to speak, um, with the exception of some of the sense organs, which uh, tend to to come about a bit later.